said the laws of the 80s are bad laws. We have people in prison who shouldn't be in prison to begin with. So when are we going to grow up as a nation so. and deal with the reality of marijuana? Instead of incarcerating people, let's deal with it in an honesty and an integrity way. But what I want to do now is every one of these clinics that ends up legitimate after this process we go through we need to come up with a formula so that the city gets a piece of that revenue, so that we can deal with our deficit. In my 64 years on this planet, I've heard more criticism about marijuana than I do about alcohol creates issues. And I'm tired of gutless politician gutless. but always about the war and they want it in the same <laughs> and my last comment mr president is that we have 2.3 million people in prison more than any other place on the we are five percent of the world's population five percent of the world's incarceration it is in total disarray we have 60,000 prison guards well let's start releasing these people from prison and let's start dealing with it as a and not a criminal issue thank you thank you mr rosenau you know, we're continuing to support the, the initiatives on the ballot coming up about legalizing marijuana. Mm -hmm. It's because, and even though I, myself, I've never actually felt the impact of these uh, powerful drugs, I have been in the room with people who perhaps were engaging. My back pain. I, 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 I smoked to right. I, I, I smoke to I smoke for fun. Oh, I like it. I wind. I smoke and I go to a bomb. Yeah. For me to put that down. What's in his hair? I've got a na natural Afro Over 700,000 arrests were made for marijuana possession. And that's not something manufactured. The total cost in taxpayers for marijuana based incarceration exceeds $1.2 billion for a harmless plant. We're trying to Make look like Don mind. Cheadle. <laughs> they couldn't get John Cheadle, so they got him. That's Ron Beatle. <laughs> they couldn't get Ron Don Cheadle. Buck Foster. They got that's right. It's like we're gonna have Tragic Johnson on the show. <laughs> that's <laughs> someone that's not related. It's been, uh, it's been a while since I seen a pick. pick uh, an Afro pick. I met man. I love picks, man. And, you know, hey, we all grew up with them. Five pick, three pick, and a hundred pick. Pick, pick, pick up sticks. Mm. Well, to, in today's political stories, you know, Michael Steele, uh, who's the Republican chairperson, uh, had made some statements that and said that Afghanistan was Obama's war of choice. Uh, a lot of people didn't like that, including the Republicans. He's been getting some backlash. Of course, the backlash has nothing to do with the fact that he's a black man. <laughs> nothing at all. <laughs> or the degree has nothing to do. Dude. It would be the same backlash. Same. Perhaps a little less vehement. Let's put it like this. If he was a tall, buxom blonde, it would certainly be a different backlash <laughs> than it is today. Are you insinuating something, man? I am huh? insinuating that we have biases, ladies and gentlemen. I myself am biased toward pleasing colors. <laughs> Hey, wait, wait. What's a better name for him, man? Banana Man or your name? <laughs> Banana. <laughs> you gave him a good name. It's a bright yellow. <laughs> I, oh, oh, I am like a ray of sunshine. <laughs> That's big. Blinding see, you see, here see, in the studio. See, he said, I told you. See, see, you guys got to understand. Uh, big Banana. Trey's Trey letting you off the hook today, Mar. He's giving you a little love today because you know how the natural comedians do. That's what they talk about me. They try to talk about my wardrobe. It's hard. <laughs> It's hard when you shop at that thrift mart. <laughs> See, I'm trying to conserve funds and shit. That's why I give those gifts like a set of lovely towels from a different yeah, hotel. You, there you go. Do not let my mentor fool you. He the only Negro I know with slaves. Where they at? 
I was feeding. You know what the problem was, though? I fed them too good. That's what I'm saying. My mind, I fed them too Wait, good. You can't feed them good. You, <laughs> they they do. I, t- I was right, dear white folks. They I'm do get lazy when you feed them. Love, right, right. How you come to somebody's there. house? He got four motherfuckers cleaning up and shit. <laughs> oh. And then he's sitting down, right? He, he come. You know, people be. I'm telling people, 10. They be like, Troy, you lying. I'm tired. Like 10, 15, 10, 20. Tired. Y'all missed it, though. Y'all should have seen it. I'm, Oh, Mario. All of my work is <laughs> on. Hold on. They are mine are legal, I'm saying. Mine are legal. Royal-ass player. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of him. She had the apple juice in one hand. She sure did, she man. She double-fisted. And, oh. and the coffee. Oh, Mario. Right. Yo, thank you, baby. Put that right there. You put that right there. Yeah, you know, you. I have to beg. Yeah, I, I got to beg. I got to go. Saying? Don't be too proud to beg. <laughs> the only Negro Beg is hard to do. This morning, I love my mentor. Well, this is because I proudly support <laughs> these uh, anti-immigration. Well, there you go. Everybody, let's play like mine may not be legal, but you <laughs> how's that? <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't planning on coming there no time soon anyway. <laughs> <laughs> too damn hot, too damn dry. <laughs> and speaking of that, that's why. Because immigration is all in the news, Vic. Yeah, and I went and got some immigration uh, video because they're all on the president. What is the president going to do about immigration? What's the pre- He's already got BP. Got oil all up to ass. Oh, <laughs> hey. Now he's trying to get about immigration. Oh, he wants to talk about jobs. You know Because what? he's not doing well there either. It's, but it's just not as bad as the other ones. You, you, dude, you just said it's almost August, right? Isn't, well, this, a, isn't this the full step? Not the two step. The it's full the two step. It's the full step. And so the first news of the day is the bad news. Yeah. Or sort of bad news. As we watch the president attempt to deal with immigration as you know you guys you may need some pointers <laughs> you may need some pointers from y'all Uh-oh. write the president tweet him and let him know what you want him to do about immigration mm. because mm. you know i'm ready to viva la uh, yeah i know Go You're on, like, on. it's man he's dragging it though but i think we're being set up for the estimated 12 million illegal immigrants in the u US and the millions of Americans who say they don't want them here, immigration. Yeah, these stories get ahead of us sometime. For the estimated 12 million illegal immigrants in the US and the millions of Americans who say they don't want them here, immigration is not an abstract political issue. But it is one of the key issues that, as a candidate, Barack Obama promised to tackle early he on. Promised. Hmm. He promised that. Uh, he promised me. He promised the gays. Like the gays is pissed. Now he promised us all. That's cool. All right. So yeah, what happens? He did. They don't. Okay. This was you could tell. Right. They don't want to talk about the president. No, no, no. See, they trying to block the video. No, no. You they know. got some Secret Service shit. Some Mission Impossible. I seen them. Where are they at, Trey? I don't even you see know. Some, do you see a black helicopter out there? It's there. Dude, you should have seen the electrical radar. It was too many. For the estimated they 12 million they illegal just, immigrants in the we don't U.S. Even know. and the millions of Americans who say <laughs> they don't want them here, immigration is not an abstract political issue. But it is one of the key issues that, as a candidate, Barack Obama promised to tackle early on if elected. He promised. Now, more than a year and a half into his presidency, Mr. Obama gave his first speech on the issue, sounding in many ways like a candidate again. Unfortunately, reform has been held hostage to political posturing and special interest wrangling. As president, he has agreed to send the special interests into the border and ask for more money to secure Who are they? But he says that isn't the answer. Our borders are just too vast for us to be able to solve. The problem. Oh yeah, ain't nobody else got borders like we got. Patrols. His idea is now the same as on Long the Long ass borders. Trip. Punish those who come here illegally. Then-